Hello. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How are you? Pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. You were complaining about the chairs, saying no. they were too comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a complaint? No, 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 no. That's, that's all good. That's okay, all good. Okay, good, yeah. Okay. Well, I was just saying in the introduction that, um, um, well, you've been around for, for, for a long, long, long time. And, um, well, what I would really like to know is um, in what way do you think, because you, tell us how long you've been in the rap game. Hmm. Um... Eight. Well, I've been listening to hip hop for a very long time. I don't, I don't know if that makes me like a participant uh -huh. of being in the rap game, but um, professionally uh, for about 10, yeah. 10 or so years. So what, what was your um, first um, encounter with hip hop? First oh. ever? Yeah. Oof. Um, I think I remember listening to the Funky Four Plus One More uh -huh. with my cousin. She owned the record, and I played her record until it couldn't play anymore. <laughs> and then after that, you know, um, probably Rock Him and the Sh uh, Sugar Hill Gang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what, what did you decide to become a rapper, or was it something that just happened? I think I had decided I was going to be a rapper, but it wasn't moving as quickly as I wanted it to. So I kind of left it alone. And then um, my father started a record label for Audio 2 uh -huh. and thought that it would be a good idea that I take a chance at it, and I did. And Worked uh, out. Yeah. Yeah. What do you do? This might be a stupid question to you, but... I think it's easier for a young child to decide, yes, I'm going to be a singer instead of going to be a rapper, because I think, I don't know if I'm correct, but I think it's more, it's more difficult to, to, to do hip hop. And uh, I was wondering if, if it, because your voice is, it's typically MC Light, it's your voice. You know, you hear your voice and you mm. recognize it immediately. So I'm thinking, do you need to have a certain voice? Because sometimes female rappers can just mm. be annoying, mm -hmm. you know, because <laughs> they go, nye, 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 nye. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, well, you know what? I think it, it's because um, during the days when I wanted to be a rapper, I rehearsed. And a great deal of the time was used on projecting my voice and speaking from here. Mm -hmm. So I... I would say that probably has a lot to do with my voice being as strong as it is as a rapper and um, distinctive. Mm -hmm. but, but then the distinctive part is just because your voice just sounds, is it just your right. voice? You, well, I'm sure if I, didn't, if I didn't practice so much with it, I might have just a voice like this. Yeah. And sometimes I want to talk like this yeah. because it doesn't take a lot of energy the way that I normally talk. Uh -huh. Yes. So do you have um, special, I don't know, what do you do to, 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 to nurture your voice? Do you do, do you special things like you drink tea with honey all the time? Mm, or whatever? Sometimes, if it, if it hurts. Yeah. But um, I never fix what's not broke. Uh -huh. so. Yeah. So what, 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 what do you think is the biggest difference for you when you started um, um, doing hip hop 10 years ago and doing hip hop today? Because, you know, mm. there, there's got to be a big difference. Right. Uh, I think it's kind of swung back to what it was. Mm -hmm. And that's um, a lot of dance oriented uh, tracks being done to make people really move on the dance floor. I yeah. think that's a difference. And um, I don't think it's so confined the way that it used to be. Thanks to Puffy and Wyclef and Timberland bringing this new type of energy to hip hop, um, it's been able to really escalate even further than it was prior to them getting here. Okay, so I, I hear what you're saying, but at the same time, there's a lot of people, a lot of critics saying, well, yeah, but you know, thanks to those people that you just mm -hmm. uh, mentioned, um, the originality has gone because even your new album, which is called Seven and Seven, mm -hmm. um, it, you use a lot of old disco tunes. Certainly. And um, people say, oh, you know, it's another, it's a cover, it's another cover, it's not original anymore. Mm -hmm. And most people who are in hip hop would say that, you know, that's what hip hop's about. It's about sampling and, and doing that type of thing. Mm -hmm. So how, how do you feel when people say, well, you know, it's okay, she's a good rapper, but you know, she's using uh, Diana Ross or whatever tune. Right. Well, I mean, 
I can only do music that makes me feel good. And during that process, I hope that I'm able to satisfy others. My, my main objective is to make a great piece of work. Mm -hmm. So um, just taking the music isn't all to it. And anyone who can sit and say that is, then they really don't know. Mm -hmm. They're unfamiliar with how hip hop works because it also takes a very catchy hook. Mm -hmm. It also takes um, a lot of lyrics. You know, you're talking about 316 bars and those, those lyrics have to be interesting. Yeah. I don't think if Missy and I were not talented, if we had used the Diana Ross sample, it wouldn't have gone, you know, as mm -hmm. far as it had gone. But in essence, that's how hip hop began. Yeah. And it's, it's only bringing back good memories to me. Hopefully it, it does that for others as well. But yeah. for me, it just, I thank God every day I can hear mm -hmm. because it's a blessing to be able to hear music. So when I think of that music that I grew up on that made me feel good, it's a beautiful thing to be able to become a part of that song. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How, what, what was the, um, would you say that you've become softer musically, not lyrically necessarily, mm -hmm. but musically um, than the early days? I think I've become wiser mm -hmm. and I have a much more tactful way of saying <laughs> the same things, <laughs> just um, using my brain, um, not that I wasn't using it then, but just in a much more skillful way, yeah. I can get across the same things that I'd like to say without having to put that other thing that was in it. Yeah. 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 So is it, is, does that have um, to do with just maturing personally, Probably. just generally? Yes, yeah. certainly. And just finding other ways of saying things, you know, metaphorically. Yeah. Yeah. This is the Music Factory